Is it possible to have fun while you're building your authentic business? This is a question I was asked, and I thought that was a good question because we usually define fun, society, and the way that we uh, see what fun is around us is usually at a very shallow level. It's material pleasures, sensory enjoyments, and those things are fine when done in care of self, you know, when, when done in service of self care and as a break between your work sessions or your practice of life. But when you start to think that your business should be fun all the time at that shallow level of sensory pleasure, I don't think you're going to be around in your business much longer. So having been full time in my business for 14 years, I will tell you that it has required me to find a deeper level of fun year by year, or at least towards the beginning in the first five years, I had to figure it out so that I could find that deeper level of fun, which then allows me to sustain for 14 years now. And I am going strong and I hope I can be around doing this for another 28 years, right? So what is that deeper level of fun in our business building? I reframe it as instead of the word fun, I call it adventure and joy. So what is adventure? It's when you are embarking on a journey and with curiosity and with courage, because you don't know how it's going to turn out. You're, you know you're going to find some treasure along the way, and you also find some danger along the way. But you trust, because of your courage, that you will be able to muster the uh, skills and the, the means to overcome those challenges. Do you believe that for yourself? I hope you do. That's If not, please practice believing that for yourself. That on this adventure of building your business, you will come across the resources you need from within yourself and outside yourself to take you all the way to your destiny. Now, actually, a better way of saying it is I see my business as a series of little adventures. You notice that I, am, I take quite a bit of action. You know, I am always, um, I make these videos regularly, right? I sell things regularly. You know, once a month, I'm selling something at least once a month. And so when I sell things, when I launch things, it's very light. It's a very light touch because I don't want to exhaust myself. And I also don't want to exhaust my audience. And because of the light touch, I'm like, you know what? I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm dedicating myself to the practice of showing up for my launch, for the thing I'm selling. I believe in my product and service. So I'm going to show up and announce it to tell people about it. And whether or not people buy, I'm going to do it on a, freq on a frequent basis, on a regular basis. But each of those is like a little adventure, right? I, I, I come to it with curiosity and practicing of courage. And then I have as little attachment to the outcome as possible. The more attachment to outcome, the less joy there is, the more it becomes an anxious experience. But the less attached to, well, I don't know if it's going to work, but I'm going to come to it with play, with curiosity, with courage, with dedication to my audience and to myself, then that's all. Oh, someone bought. Oh, how, how amazing is that? Oh, wonderful, right? It's what a bonus. But these are little adventures of low risk. And I recommend that you do that as well. So that's kind of like the, 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 the deeper level of fun that I hope you'll take on, like the sense of adventure in your business. And as you take this adventure and see yourself growing and see and witness yourself reframing, you know, anxiety into, into curiosity, you know, reframing fear into a practice of connection with life. When you see yourself doing these reframes and practicing the emotional regulation and showing up again and again, then you find a deeper joy. The joy of pride, appropriate pride of seeing yourself show up for yourself and for, the, for your audience. You also find the joy of uh, seeing your audience respond with gratitude 
that and but that's not at the beginning. You need some time of showing up again and again before you have that blessing of the audience showing up with gratitude. So at in the beginning, that's the part that that is the that is the toughest part, and that's the person I'm speaking to right now. Whether you're in the beginning or you feel like you're still in the beginning, dedicate yourself to the adventure, and dedicate yourself to the sensing of that deeper joy of growth. Of connection to your imagined audience, of connection to life, in service from your heart. So thank you for joining me on this journey. I hope you will find that deeper level of fun and joy today and every day in your business. Thanks.